Hello, everybody. Hi, it's me, Sister Robinson, and I am going to give you a little primary lesson today. It's something that we're going to try to do every week. We are going to have a little singing time and a little lesson from Come Follow Me because you guys aren't getting your Sunday lessons from your teachers anymore. So this um, week, I'm already late. This video should have been put out so that you could watch it today, which is Sunday. But um, I don't know that it's actually gonna hit YouTube for another day or two, so we're a little behind getting started. But weekly, you should be able to watch for a video that I will pre-record throughout the week, and then Brother Mandeville has been so gracious to help me. He's so good at computers and doing things like this. He is going to um, put the videos on a private YouTube page, I think is what we're what the plan is. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna send this video to him, and he's gonna take care of all the hard stuff so that I don't have to do that. But I, let me show you this. This little guy is crying in the background. Look at this little puppy I have. Look at this little puppy. I got this for my birthday. My birthday is Christmas Eve, and this is our our newest addition to our family. His name is Eli, and he's kind of naughty so far. Stand up, Eli. He's kind of naughty. He's a little wiener dog, and he cries during the night. We have to let him go outside. Um, he's learning how to like his kennel just a little bit. Oh, there. But he was crying, and he wanted to say hello. This is Eli. Maybe I'll show him to you every once in a while. But you want to just put him outside maybe? or Yeah. We have to be careful letting him go outside. He'll get lost in our yard. We don't have a fence that would keep him inside. Okay. So we're going to start off with our lesson, okay? Um, this year, we're going to be learning from the Doctrine and Covenants. So um, do you know who wrote the Doctrine and Covenants? Do you know what the Doctrine and Covenants is? Why is it important? What is in it? What does it contain? Let me show you some versions of the Doctrine and Covenants. So this is my Book of Mormon. This was from before I was even married. It has my maiden name on it. So they combine books. Um, so this has the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. So in here, I flip through the Book of Mormon, and then which one's going to come next? The Doctrine and Covenants. So the Doctrine and Covenants usually is kind of contained with the Book of Mormon. The Doctrine and Covenants, I have a small version of it too. My kids like this one. It's just a little tiny version of the Doctrine and Covenants. My little five-year-old likes to flip through this and she says she reads the whole book quite often actually. She reads it all the time. <laughs> um, so the Doctrine and Covenants, There's um, it gives me a link. Let me read this to you. It's really um, quite simple the way they break it down. Um, it says, Joseph Smith and some of the saints left Missouri and went back to Kirtland, Ohio. Soon, a special conference was held. The purpose was to talk about printing the revelations the Lord had given to Joseph Smith. So do you know what revelations are or what they were or what that means? Revelations, um, we can all receive personal revelation, but especially um, our leaders such as Joseph Smith back a long time ago or our prophet today. Do you know who our prophet today is? President Nelson, they can receive special revelation, which means that they receive special um, guidance or instruction from Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And so um, the purpose, they were, they were going back to Ohio and they were going to talk about the revelations that Joseph Smith had been given from the Lord. The revelations Joseph had received had been written down, but most of the church members did not have copies of them. So they, they had been written down, but a lot of people didn't have access to them yet. In this conference, the saints decided to publish the, rev the revelations in a book. So what does it mean to publish that? That means that they were going to put it into a book, print it basically, and, um, and let, let those uh, people who wanted to read it have access to it. The book would be called the Book of Commandments. Later, it was called the Doctrine and Covenants. So the Doctrine and Covenants used to be called the Book of Commandments. And then it was called later, they changed it to the Doctrine and Covenants. Um, Jesus gave Joseph Smith two more revelations for the book. One was for the beginning and the other was for the end. These revelations help us understand the importance of the book and of the restored gospel. So what does the Doctrine and Covenants teach us? 
I wish that I could have you guys talking back with me. I wish this could be like a little sharing time where we could just be sitting in a circle and everybody could be raising their hand and giving me some answers. This is a little bit awkward because I'm watching myself in the camera, but I hope that you'll try to participate as much as you can. So the Doctrine and Covenants um, tells everyone that the true church of Jesus Christ is on the earth again. That's one of the things that this book tells us. There's somebody messaging my daughter. My little daughter. Um, the Doctrine and Covenants tells about the priesthood. It also tells men how to use this power. The Doctrine and Covenants tells us about the Book of Mormon. By reading the Book of Mormon, everyone can know about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Doctrine and Covenants teaches um, the saints to share. Those who share will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Did you know the Doctrine and Covenants can teach you how to share? That is in Doctrine and Covenants um, section 70 verse 14 if you wanted to look that up the doctrine and covenants teaches the commandments of God saints who obey these commandments can live with Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ forever Jesus said all members of the church should read the doctrine and covenants and I have to be honest I feel the doctrine and covenants is a is a bit more tricky for me than the Book of Mormon I feel like I, it, the Book of Mormon is a little bit easier to understand. There's parts of the Doctrine and Covenants that are very simple and it's just point blank and it tells you exactly, um, it's just in, the, in an easy form, but then there's other parts where I get a little confused with it. But um, Jesus said that all members of the church should read the Doctrine and Covenants. So after this conference, Oliver Cowdery took copies of the, revelation, of the Revelations to Missouri. He gave them to William Phelps, a church member who had a printing press. Do you know what a printing press is? That's like a machine, uh, almost like a newspaper machine where, uh, like, a, like a printer, like when we hook up to our, um, when we print something off of our computer, it goes to the printer. So that's what a printing press was. It printed pages. Oliver asked Brother Phelps to print 3,000 books. Before the printing was finished, however, wicked men stopped the press and destroyed most of the pages. The Doctrine and Covenants was finally published in 1835. The saints thanked Heavenly Father for the revelations in the Doctrine and Covenants. So that is the book we're going to be studying this year. Our families are going to study this book. Uh, Sunday school is going to study this book. And primary is going to study this book. So um, do you know who this is? Oops. Let me hold that open for me. Thank you. Do you know who this is? Or who this was? This is Joseph Smith. Do you know anything about Joseph Smith? Joseph Smith um, was Heavenly Father's instrument, Jesus' instrument in um, reorganizing, reestablishing the church on the earth. Um, let's see where my notes are here. Um, do you know what the Savior gave us through Joseph Smith? Can you think of anything that through Joseph Smith the Savior gave us? Um, it says that he gave us um, commandments through Joseph Smith. He gave us the Book of Mormon through Joseph Smith. Um, while learning um, in, the book, in the Doctrine of Co and Covenants, we'll learn about the commandments that the Lord gave to the church through Joseph Smith. So this was our first Latter-day Saint prophet. There were prophets back in the Bible and back in the Book of Mormon, but this is considered our first prophet in the latter days. Um, do you know that song? Uh, how does it start now? I know all of them. I have to think of Latter-day prophets are number one. Who was the first one? Joseph Smith, then Brigham Young. And we've learned that song before, right? We know all the prophets, but he was the first one in the latter days. Um... I won't go on much longer. This this is almost done actually. And then we'll do a quick singing time. We'll just we'll learn the song for the month. We'll go through it a couple times. Okay, so um let's read here. Give me just a second to find it. One second. It links me right to it. Here it is. Okay. I wonder if this tells me how long I've been going. Oh, I'm already at nine minutes. Okay. 
You know, I'm going to skip that part so this doesn't become too long. We're going to go right to the next spot. Okay. Um, I want you guys to imagine that you're going on a trip. Have you ever gone on a trip before? I want you to imagine that you're going, you could be going to the lake. You could be going to the beach. Where else could you go? You could be going camping. Um, you could be going on a ski trip. Think of somewhere where you would like to go, just on a little trip. Think of that. Now, what would you pack? Think of where you're going to go. Like, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking of going camping. Where, what would I pack to go camping? What if I told my kids, okay, guys, we're going camping. We're heading to the mountains. I need you to bring your suitcase down. Let's go. And that's all I told them. Do you think that they would pack everything that they needed? Or do you think it would be helpful if I told them things like, by the way, it's going to rain the whole time we're there. There's going to be a bad storm. Um, every evening it's probably going to rain. Do you think they would pack differently than if they just thought we were going to the mountains just to have beautiful weather? What if, um, what if I told them, oh, and by the way, we're going to have a flat tire on the way. Do you think we would load our car differently if we knew we were going to have a flat tire? Actually, I had a flat tire the other day, and I had everything in the car I needed, but I did not have a jack. I had the the pole, the not the pole, the, I don't know, the thing that hooks up to the jack where you crank it, and I had the spare tire, and I had the tools I needed, and I did not have the jack. The jack was taken out of the car. So the jack is the piece that lifts up the car, and without it, I couldn't, like, I, there was nothing I could do. Um, so do you think it would make a difference if you knew where you were going and what would be happening? Would that make a difference of what you packed? I think it would. Let me read you um, verse 17 of Doctrine and Covenants, section 1, verse 17. Wherefore, I, the Lord, knowing the calamity which should come upon the inhabitants of the earth. That's a lot of big words. Do you know what calamity means? Calamity is a disaster or a terrible thing. What are the inhabitants of the earth? Who are the inhabitants? The inhabitants are us, right? So wherefore, I, the Lord, knowing the calamity, knowing the terrible thing or the disaster which should come upon the people of the earth, called upon my servant, Joseph Smith Jr., and spake unto him from heaven and gave him commandments. So Heavenly Father sent Joseph Smith because he knew what would be happening to us in this life. He knew that we would need commandments. He knew that we would need the gospel in our lives, right? So he sent us, Joseph Smith, to be, um, to give us lots of direction. And a lot of the direction is in the Doctrine and Covenants. And that's what we're going to study this year. And I'm very excited about it. And I'm very excited to be able to record these every week. And I'm going to try my very, very best to stay on schedule and to um, hopefully get these recorded so that when you get home on Sundays, you can just turn on your little video. And I think from what Brother Mandeville said, it's something that um, that you can just, you can watch over and over again. You can watch just a piece of it. You can do it however you want. My little daughter, um, she's in preschool and her teacher records himself. He has his own private YouTube channel and he records himself reading um, stories. And so when Sailor is done with her schoolwork for the day, she goes on to, on her little iPad and she can click on his books portion of the Canvas page and she can watch the same book like five times if she wants to or she can um, she just chooses which story she wants to read. So hopefully the way Brother Mandeville and I are going to set this up is where you can go in and you can just kind of click on a video and watch it and then you've had a little lesson. This one was probably longer than they will be. I'll try to keep them a little more short, uh, a little shorter. And... Um, and we'll get right to the point so they don't become too hard to watch because we're already at 14 minutes. I apologize on that. Okay, I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we are going to do a quick singing time. We're just going to go through a song a couple times. Um, the song for this month is Search, Ponder, and Pray. And we used to know this song because this was in our program a few years ago. So Kay said, my oldest daughter, she learned it on the piano for me. And we just did a trial run. And it doesn't sound really great on the piano. She sounds great. But the piano's far enough away that all you hear is me singing, and that's not very pleasant for anybody. So we are going to listen um, online, and we're going to sing together. 
my kids are outside wondering if they can come back inside. Tell them we're almost done. <laughs> I kicked everybody outside and told them I got to make a video. Okay. We're going to sing pr search, ponder, and pray. These are the words. I love to read the Holy Scriptures. So I'm going to hold this up when we sing that part. I love to read the Holy Scriptures. And every time I do, I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart. So here's something growing within a heart. I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart. A testimony that they're true. And then it's going to be search, ponder, and pray are the things that I must do. The Spirit will guide. Uh, the Spirit will guide, and deep inside, I'll know the Scriptures are true. Okay. Okay. So I locked it. Okay. Here we go. Let's try it together. I love to read the Holy Scriptures. I love to read the Holy Scriptures And every time I do I feel the Spirit start to grow within my heart Are true. I was supposed to say, I was supposed to do something else. The Spirit will guide and deep inside, deep inside, deep inside your heart, right? The Spirit will guide and deep inside. I'll know the scriptures are true. Let's try it one more time, okay? And then maybe throughout the week, you guys can practice this song. And next week, we'll go over it a few more times and we'll add another song to it. Okay, case okay, so one more time. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. I'm sorry it was longer than it should have been. I'll keep it shorter next week. I hope you have a great week, and I hope this video will load. <laughs> I hope we didn't do this for nothing. Um, look forward to our videos every week, okay? And we'll see you guys later. Bye.